last ten I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind And our team was the year I had to leave you But now I'm hey, seeing all the signs Hey everybody out there in the YouTube land It's Peter and Cappy and it's Thursday Hi everybody here we are again. Another Thursday rolled around. They just keep happening. It was good to see all your faces at the shop hop, y'all. Oh my gosh. So many people came in and said, hi, Cappy. Hi, Peter. We watch your videos. And and I don't mean to get the deer in the headlight look, but it's it, it catches me off guard. Does me it catch too. You? Because you guys know us, which is awesome, but we don't see your faces. We just see your names. Now, so what you should do is say, hi, Cappy. I'm you know, whatever your handle is on YouTube, because we'll recognize that. Yeah. And then we can put your face with your little handle thing, because somebody has some really funny little names that they don't really always, you know, I don't know your face. I wish they put their faces on, like, Facebook, so we could see who they are. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, it might help me a little bit, because they're like, hi, and I'm thinking, who is this person, and why do I know them? And then I'm like, oh, they've been on the video, but I've seen, they've seen my face, I haven't seen theirs. Anyway. It was great to see you and to kind of, you know, hug on some of you and get to actually meet live people instead of just have, you know, names. So please, please keep coming in. The shop hop was amazing. If you were here or at the other shops, four days of bedlam <laughs> in some ways. I know all the shops were very grateful. Um, great attendance and just we've already set the dates for next year. It's the last weekend in March, which is... 29th through the 30th or think something like that. It's the la very last weekend in March for 2025. We're going to do it again. So be watching. We'll have all that information out. But it was a huge success. And we were grateful to have everybody here. And it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. I think I even saw you behind the register. I did. I was running. And the at the cutting counter. Yep. At the register, cutting counter. We we did it all. <laughs> it took it took the whole gang, and next year nobody gets time off. <laughs> We're going to have everybody here. But anyway, so what's going on in the shop besides that event that happened that was awesome? Um, we're back in the yarn department. I've got a couple more pieces of this wool addicts that we showed you um, last week. we got two more colors came in that I want you to see. Look how pretty this is. That's got your name on it, Peter. It does. I was looking at those on Saturday. It really does. That's really a Peter. Trying to decide which color that Peter one. Peter Sockyard. The okay, and then here's the other color. Look at that one. Mm. I see that would be perfect with your overalls and your shirt today. I'm thinking that one. This one really resonates with me. It might match your striped pants too. I love that. <laughs> we were just talking about matching. I stripes. love that it has a coral wool with cotton wrapped around it. Yeah. It'll give me that nice cushion. It but will. the durability with it's, the cotton. I love it. It's got a nice squishiness to it now. So anyway, these are two more colors in the um, Lang Yarns Footprints Wool Addicts, A-D-D-I-C-T-S. And I'm not sure what this color's called. It's color number 2502. I'd call it yummy. And this one I would call Grapealicious because it's pretty too. So but you got... Yeah, I like those colors. Grape so if you call if you call Deborah to order it, just ask for yum delicious <laughs> and grape delicious. <laughs> I want that grape delicious like, yarn. What? what did Cappy say? Oh well, she knows I'm a Looney Tune. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I wanted to show you those two yarns. People coming in for classes. Hi. Um, and then what else do I want to call you? Um, crochet classes. Holy moly! So we had the first crochet class. Um, the Amagamurmi. Where's Jessica? Her eyes are rolling wherever she's at. I'm a green. She's in a safe distance she's, away from yeah. us. Poor Jessica. She's she is very, very good about saying things accurately. I I kind of I'm Mrs. Malaprop, if you know that's a reference from a long time ago. I I I'm kind of silly that way. But anyway, I'm a gurumi. You know what I mean. The little stuffed animals. Oh well, look. See here's some here. These are these are for true beginner beginners. This is a little crochet kit that has a little critter in it. Looks like, what is that, a fox? It says it's a fox. Here's another one that's just the head of a fox. And these are crocheted. And then here's the giraffe. Isn't that cute? Basic sewing. It doesn't say skill level on these, but I'm betting that they wouldn't be too terribly hard. And they're small. So those are really fun. But the classes, if you want an instructor to work with you, Kayla has started teaching here. She's a sweetheart of a gal. Um, she had 
uh, her first class, first time teaching them. She did great. They were, really had fun, but we realized that we need to have a little bit of skill level if you're going to take that Amagurumi class. You need to be able to know some things. You got to be able to hook. You got to be able to be a hooker. <laughs> so, um, She's got another series of classes coming. She's done, um, and you'll have to plug in the pictures here, Peter. There's a, she's done the duck, and now she's going to do uh, a pony and a unicorn and an elephant, and I think she's got bears coming. So look on our website if you want to sign up for any of those classes. But realize she's kind of real. She's come to understand that that a true beginner beginner really can't take that class and have success and we want you to be successful so she's also offering now a beginner's crochet class oh wonderful yeah so she's hooked she's like she's hooked but um, i see what you did right see there what I did right there um and so she's got some more classes coming so be ready if you if you had a good time with kayla she's she's a delight um we had a lot of people in a little room so we've got a bigger space for her and a little more adaptability so look at those classes if you're wanting to crochet because um She's offered a lot of opportunities. These are Wednesday evenings, Saturdays, because she works Monday through Friday. So the schedule is such that I think a lot of you that work would really be able to benefit from those classes. So I'm excited about offering those for her. Um, and for you, mainly, that's the main thing for you. And then I hear there's another peyote fob in. We got to look at that. Mm -hmm. I want you to mm -hmm. see that. Mm -hmm. And then I got to show you this. We came back here to get ready to do our filming. And I spied this little book, and of course Peter, because he's smart, he had already found it. Look how fun this little book is. It's a stitch book. I think, let me see what are they calling it. Okay, let me get the cross stitch on that oh. while you're looking at that. Okay, you get the cross thing. stitch. Let me find what they're actually calling This has um, it. cross stitch over the gingham check, which is really neat. It's a cross stitch sewing book. And it's um, in this lovely little patchwork book by Carrie Horsley. So there's the front of the book. Carrie Horsley's lovely little patchwork. 18 projects to sew through the seasons. I remember this book coming in. I just didn't realize we'd already made a sample for it. So what a fun book. And this is the project right here. We did a pretty good job. I mean, we're pretty point on. Look at the cross stitch in the middle of it. Now, you know, for those people who cross stitch and don't sew and people who sew and don't cross stitch, it's kind of like, ah, so get a friend that cross stitches and have them cross stitch the little part for you. Or get a quilter and have them make the quilty part. But look how fun this is. Or fussy cut the center. Or fussy cut. Yeah, don't even cross stitch yeah. it if it's, if it's scary for you to cross stitch. But look, there's a little yo-yo and there's a little crocheted heart. And then this is for your spools. So this opens up. And this piece goes through the center of your spools, and you can put your spools of thread on there. you got little pockets for rulers and scissors. This is a needle keep, so you can put your needles, you know, poke your needles through there. Little pocket, maybe put your pattern in or your scissors, whatever. Is this the cutest? I mean, I'm just... And it's got a little tie closure. I love it. I it's love the perfect it. size, too, because it'll fit in most of those project bags. Yeah, that's a good point. I hadn't thought of that. But, yeah, it would fit in the project bags. That's a real good idea. So isn't that fun? I'm, I'm pretty much I'm tickled. I should, you know, I should shop here. You should. There's lots to see. I don't know if I can leave that propped open or not. Probably not. We better not do that. Okay. So, anyway, there it is. Lovely little patchwork. Put that in the search engine if you're looking for it on the website. And we can hook you up with that that book. I I don't know. Maybe that book will be in my basket and out the door. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right. I'm going to place this yarn back on the shelf. And then we're going to go over and look at those key fobs. Because I heard there's another one. Got to show you. Okay, guys. We're back. Okay. So let's look at this one. Now, Peter. <laughs> Storm cloud. <laughs> he said it's a storm. I, I don't know why anybody's putting a storm cloud on their scissor fob. I think it's like a jellyfish. He's like a storm cloud. You know, it, it's open to interpretation. I, I I think you can say what you want. It's fun. It's kind of cool. I, I, I understand why you thought it was a storm cloud. And I'll, I'll do credit, I'll say. But I really think it's a jellyfish. Because it looks like there's a little jellyfish on the charm. But anyway, there's another one of these. And then here's a snowman. Mr. Snow, he's so cute. I love, is that a tobacco pipe? It is a tobacco pipe. I'm going to buy that just for the pipe. I know. Well, that's what, look at the little charm right there. Look at the pipe. Isn't oh that adorable? Oh, my gosh. I know. I'm with you. That charm is stinking cute. So anyway, there's a couple more of these key it's, I think it's a Sherlock's home pipe. 
It might be. I am. Um, I have done a video about these, a short video. I'm going to do another one because I've had somebody request it. So I'm, I'm working on the octopus now and I'm going to get it up to the top so that you can see how to do that finishing at the top because it is a little wonka doodle. Um, but we'll show you that. But if you buy these, be sure to buy the tacky bill with it. I know some people bought it and they didn't buy tacky bill and everybody needs a tacky bill. <laughs> Um, they used to be Tacky Bobs, but the company changed, and now they're Tacky Bill. But what this is, is it, it's like a CD case, and it opens, and it has this little tackiness. He's going to say, bless Excuse you. Excuse me. has this tackiness that you can put your beads on, and it's really a super great way to do it. And then the other thing, oh, look, they have different covers. Sorry, very squirrel wants me. Look, there's a pine cone cover. Oh, I want this one. Here's a floral. Look at that one. They all have different covers on them. Mm, okay, that's, that's fun. Pretty. Don't just pick the one off the top. Look at them. But um, the other thing that's really helpful with, with doing this peyote beading, because I've had several phone calls about it because we've talked about it, um, is a wool mat. Get a little, the small one. I think it's probably 8 inch square maybe. A little square one because it's really nice to set the what you're doing on that and use pins to kind of hold it when you're not working with it. It gives you some place to put your needles and all that. So I sit on the couch with my little wool mat and my little tacky bill and all my stuff. And I can just sit right there and, you know, be watching the boob tube, which is useless, and doing something with my hands. So get your little wool mat. If you, if, or if you have one, that's a good place to use it up. So that's my tip for that. Um, okay, let's go look at front fabric. Because fabric's fun. All right, I am next to the Tilda fabric. Peter, do you like Tilda's fabric? I love Tilda's fabric. Me too. She's this really nice tall drink of water too. Yeah, yeah. She's your kind of lady. She is. She's a. Uh, she is. She's like. Does she have an accent? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She was hard to understand. When Does she we have that her. nice Norwegian yes, accent? She has the Norwegian accent, and it's not. And her name, who's has escaped me now. Um, I, could, I said it wrong because it's me. Remember I was telling you how I always say uh -huh, names? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Tone. So here he goes. Tone. See, there's her name. T-O-N-E-F-I-N-N-A-G-E-R. Brand new craft ideas. Tone. But it's not Tony. I don't, I don't know. It's not Tony. But that's what it looked like to me. And that's what I said. And she said, no, it's... And I went, oh. And then couldn't say it either still. So... She's never going to remember me because I'm not a, but a speck on the dot. Wait till you go next year. She'll remember you. Oh, yeah. Then she'll go, hi, Cappy. And I'll be, hi. Hi, not Tony. Not Tony. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Anyhow, so this line, this tilde line, this is what we have in currently. I, the other stuff is coming. It's like any What? Yes, we have the entire collection coming very what? soon. What? But here's what's this. I'm going to tell you. There was a fellow came in. He's delightful. He requested a fat quarter bundle, and I want to remind you of that opportunity. He was here, and he said he wa he wanted everything in the tilde line, and so that's called a complete line. And when you do a complete line like hey, that, hey, if you're watching, Mister, you got to come back and get those solids down there. Yeah, he does need because those chambrays are amazing. Yeah, and I would do those as a complete collection. Yeah, too. those the chambrays even for any quilter. I quilted yeah. with the chambrays. And the hand, the feel, everything about them is amazing. Where's Touch of Vision, Beater? I'm working on it. All right. They okay. should be submitting a bill. Submitting a, a bill. Proposal. Yeah, I'll yeah. get that invoice and be yeah. freaking out. So, what he's talking about with these chambray, and they do, the hand on them is incredible. Oh, I love it. Here's the other part about them because of the way they're created, they're really basically no wrong or right side to them. I and mean, I love it so much, I put it on a backing on one of my quilts, and it just is amazing. It's like butter. It's like butter. Is it, is it woven? These are woven, aren't they? Are they are woven, yeah. These it's are like, like a shock cotton. shock cottons, but more refined. But more, yep. A little, little cleaner, smoother, not as nubby. Or slubs, they call them slubs. Anyway, this is really, 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 really pretty. Pretty pastels. But he came in and requested a fat quarter bundle. Now, he was here, I don't know, Thursday or Friday. So he said, I'd like a fat quarter bundle of this entire line. Sure, not a problem. We're happy to do that for it. Now, we couldn't do it while he was standing there waiting because, you know, we're a little busy. But he was gracious enough to say, I'd like the collection. We said, we'll do that. Can you come back and pick it up tomorrow or the next day? He said, sure. We went, perfect. And so here we have the other half of his fat quarter bundle. But here's what happens. So there's one up for grabs? There's one up for grabs. Here's what happens. When you buy a fat quarter, it's $4.99. But when you buy 
an entire collection of fat quarters and you give us the time to cut it, we price it per yard. So I don't know how many is in this bundle. There's 24 fat quarters. Okay, so that's six yards, yes? I think if I do that right, that's six yards. Yeah, the back, the the peanut gallery's shaking their head. I do filming, so I do filming, so I don't have to. You do don't math. have to do math. Um, so this is six yards of fabric for eighty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents, which is the per yard price. If you bought twenty-four fat quarters at five dollars a piece, it'd be a hundred and twenty bucks. See, how I did that. That was pretty quick math for me. So, th this is really a better deal than if you buy fat quarters, but you still get the benefit of fat quarters. And fat quarters are like, I don't know, they're the sprinkles on top of the quilts for quilters. It's just, fat quarters are awesome because you get just enough fabric to get a little bit of mm, but not so much that you have all this leftover. So um, anyway, there and if, is. And if you have any leftovers, just square them up into one inch squares. Yeah, and then just make a big quilt out of it. Yeah, that's kind of true. That's what Dawn does, isn't it? She's, she's, she's so good grower. at it. She's my, she, I'll grow up. She makes on. these cute little uh, nine patches out of one inch squares and they're adorable. It's cute. And she then she puts them all together and it's an amazing quilt. I'm just, I'm in awe of her talent. But anyway, here it is. Tilda Fat Quarter Bundle of 24. It's probably on the website. Uh, if not, we'll see that it is. But honestly, these, boom. If there's a line that I show you in the What's New video and you're like, gosh, I'd really love to have that entire set in Fat Quarters. Call Deborah in orders and say, I'd like to have that in a fat quarter bundle. We'll put it together for you. We'll get you a price and get back with you. But these fat quarter bundles are just the bomb. I, I know um, Crinsman Tate, who's down in Indianapolis, that's pretty much how she sells her fabric is bundled in, in quarters and halves and one yards and all that kind of stuff. We typically cut to order here, but we do have these bundles at the per yard price, which is the bomb. It really is the bomb. Okay, so that's enough about Tilda. We're going to turn right around behind you, and I want to show them a finished quilt, Peter. Okay, okay? let's do it. Let's do it. Don't make them seasick when we turn. So this line, we showed you a while back. It's stunning. It's selling like crazy. Oh, and I have a little wallet that a customer made for me. I'll have to have you take a picture of it. A customer brought me the cutest little wallet that she made out of this fabric, and this is lovely. Easter is coming this weekend, so you couldn't have it for this Easter, but you could have it for next Easter. Look at this quilt. I'm going to hold it up. I should roll it up and do the roll down reveal thing. Let me see if I can do it that way. Maybe I can. I don't know. Okay, we're fixing it. Na, 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 na. Don't take pictures yet. Oh, this is half the fun. Watching fun. Watch you me, roll it. Watching me look like an idiot. I'm good at it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? Oh my god. Look gosh. at that purple. I know, it's purple and it's so, it's just spring. It says spring has sprung. So we do have this in a kit um, and it's going to sell fast. You know that last one that we had that was the cross? That thing sold out. People we kept did. calling and, and we kept... We just couldn't keep up with the demand nope, on that one. we couldn't. And this just says spring. I mean, wouldn't this be pretty hanging in a church, like right above the the uh, pulpit, maybe on a Sunday morning or something? I don't know. Very pretty. I love what they did on the sides right here with the these triangle border. Yes. How, what's the, whatever the I proper don't know term how, what is that's for called, that. But, it's but that's really neat pretty. with the shading and the, yeah. the arrows framing it really nicely. It is really nice. It's, it's, I it's, see some panel action, so it looks like I it'd go too. fast. Yeah, it probably would. This wouldn't be a real hard one. You might get it, you know, kind is of. Is the cross get... machine applicator or is that a panel? The cross is just, no, it's a panel. That's a panel. And these are panels off the panel. Oh, I see. Look it looked like it was stitched. Though, it? Yeah. Man, I'd machine stitch around that. Yeah, in a heartbeat. Give it some cool definition. So then. it's very pretty. I would strongly suggest this. Um, you know, I realize Easter's here, but this sample will be going up. It's not hung yet. I stole it from our sample. So what kind of lilies are those on the border? Callas. Easter lilies? Oh, no, they're not callas. They're Easter lilies. I thought there were some calla lilies, but there's not. There's Easter lilies on that one. I love that it has Easter lilies. I do, too. My mom would get so excited when she'd bring home an Easter lily. Like, Look at my Easter lily. Yeah, every we and then it would be white, I suppose. Uh-huh. And then how long would it stay alive? I don't remember. Not long enough, right? I don't remember. They would fade out. Anyway, I'll set that right there. So that's that sample. Um, you've seen that fabric already, but just a reminder, because people will be saying, what was that fabric again? It's what was that fabric? <laughs> the Benertex <laughs> Company. 
and it's called Whispering Lilies. That doesn't seem right. Spring Awakening. Yeah, Spring, I'm sorry, Spring Awakening is that what that, that's called. So um, don't hesitate to get some of that because it is beautiful. Beautiful. All right, here comes Stephanie with the empty shopping cart. She's going to fill it up. Um, <laughs> America the Beautiful. We're going to go up this way now. Yep. Show them some eye candy on the way so they can see the fun stuff. Oh, sorry. You know, every time you say eye candy, Bonnie always Bonnie walks into the frame. Oh, no, <laughs> man. She's a smart girl. Okay, oh. this one is from the Michael Miller Company. Your last name? It's called America the Beautiful. So be honest. Is that the only reason why you hired Bonnie? Yeah. Was for her Bonnie eye candy. Bonnie is the bomb. <laughs> she a, is. She is. She is. The Energizer Bunny. She runs circles around me. She does. She runs circles around everybody. And she's got the cutest grandbabies. You should see her grandbabies. Cutest little herd of grandbabies you ever did see. And she's a good quilter, too. Okay. Moving to the fabric. I, we gush over our staff because they're all awesome. But this is the panel. I love this panel. I think that's really pretty. My husband is a veteran. He um, was in the Air Force. And... He's not got a quilt that has Air Force stuff or, or veteran stuff on it. He's got a cigar quilt and he's got other quilts. But he doesn't have an Air Force quilt? No, but I'm thinking he might need one of these. With Hopefully. all that plain blueprint fabric that we had that one year? I know, I know. I've, he has a pillowcase. He has a couple pillowcases, but I haven't made him a quilt. I should make him We're a We're going to have to have a talk after this video. I know. I'm a failing as a wife, can I say. But, you know, we've been married almost for, it'll be 40 years next year, so I guess I've done okay. I was not a child bride, by the way. <laughs> I was an old lady. Okay. Wait, I thought you did get married when you were young. No, I was, I was, I, I was 23. Oh, okay. So yeah, that tells you how old I am. Um, okay, so Thank this you. is the Michael Miller <coughs> America the Beautiful. Look at this pretty border stripe. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So placemats, table runners, that 90 degree uh, or 60 degree table runner. The 10 minute table runner would be great in this. I might make a 10 minute table runner out of this. It'd be really fast. Um, it takes 10 minutes. You know, that's that up, dump, oh, whatever. It's a 10 minute table runner because it takes 10 minutes to make it. But this would be great for your 4th of July, Memorial Day's coming. It takes me 10 minutes just to find the right accessories to put on the sewing machine. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. Look how pretty these are. Look at that one. The eagle superimposed on the, on the, flag this flag i love that flag we've had that one before they've reprinted it which i think is a great idea because mm -hmm. it's just a pretty flag the eagle says america no it says united states of america there it is with a blue bright blue background navy black background <coughs> this would be now you know what you could do with that cappy what was that i could english paper piece you could english paper piece i have to make a pretty good size hexagon to get the wings and everything hey you know what you love english i, paper I know piece, so. i've got a whole and we're gonna that's a whole nother thing we're gonna talk about we gotta not anticipate we gotta participate but i'm telling you i got a whole english paper piece thing coming up i'm trying to get it ready for you i've been working on it uh -oh. um stars 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 white background red background blue background um some more eagles stripes oh my gosh so you could actually make the flag. See, look. Oh, you could totally make the you flag. Totally make the flag if you wanted to make the flag. Blue stripes, and then here's some fireworks. I love this. Loving the fireworks. I like fireworks. Cats do not. They get anxious and nervous and all that stuff. So that's a fun one. Loving that fabric. America the Beautiful. I see quilts of valor happening all over that. Um, and like I said, I should make my husband one. I might make do the table runner placemats first just for my table for Memorial Day and 4th of July. I like that about that. If I get it done now, I can use it for both holidays. Make so. him an apron to cook out in. Because <laughs> he's going to be grilling Banter's he hot is. dogs he now. Is. You know. He's, he's grilling. You know. He does like to grill. All right, then the next thing I want to show you is in this free spirit line, which you guys are eating up. Um, we got the wide back in this and I know we sold a big chunk off of it but this wide back is beautiful this is the strawberry strawberry birds yes. strawberry thief um, strawberry thief yeah strawberry thief that's it I'm trying to get it right side up but it's it's 108 wide so honestly draperies this is this is a great way to make draperies um, I've made draperies and there you can buy all the stuff and do it it's really fun um, it would be, you could do it. You'd have to line them, I think, but you mm. could certainly use it for upholstery. 
if you wanted to. Um, and then I wanted to show you this quilt. We've talked about the third Saturday sampler class that I'm doing. This is the quilt for that. And this book is available. Get her right side up. She's a good big one too. There you go. And if we can see her. Pam, can I get a, a banana? Thank you. Pam's here. Say hi, Pam. Hello. I didn't get to see this. this is oh, you didn't get to see it, Doug? Oh gosh. No, there it is. Done. Can you get it, Peter? Mm-hmm. Um, so this is the third Saturday Sister Sampler quilt. Who did the quilting? Um, Cindy did our quilting. That's beautiful. Look it, how poofy it is. It is. I love now, that. We put a wool batting in oh. here on top of a regular batting to get the trapunto kind of thing going on. I wanted real fullness in it so it would really show the quilting. Um, especially this negative space in the center was it needed to be filled with something. So she really went bananas on the quilting there. The blocks are just basics, but the actual, every one of the blocks has its own quilting pattern. So this is a class that's going on. I have offered it online as well because we had so many people want to sign up for it. Thank you, Pam. And um, this needs to go up once it gets completed. But um, we have offered this online, so it's the third. It's a third Saturday class, but we're going to do a little video uh, to go with it each week. Thank you. If you want to take it over there, I've got to get it back to Deborah. Um, what you'll need to do the class, if you want to make it like I did, is a bundle like this, and then we do have lights for the background that you can put it together. Um, it's something to look at. It's an online class at this point. The in-store class is full and overflowing, so we won't be putting any more else in the class, but you can do it online if you'd like. And um, it's already started, but you can play catch up, not too hard, um, and it's a fun class. So this fabric quilts and stitches into a quilt beautifully. There was another customer who brought in a quilt. She bought the fat quarter bundle, which we could do a whole bundle if you wanted the whole line um, that she used to make it, and it was gorgeous. Are you talking about the lady who, yeah, 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 she actually made it and then bought another bundle because she loved the fabric so much, yeah. she wanted a backup bundle. Yep, so let me slide these out of the way. These are in the process of getting rearranged because we do that all the time here, you know. But there's the rest of the line. Um, some of these bolts are getting pretty thin, so they're closing, they're gonna be empty fast. But uh, it was a big line and it's selling quickly. So if you're still interested, and it's really not completely new, but the interest in the class has exploded and I don't want somebody to say, well, I was wondering about that and wanted to know how to do it. So you can sign up online on the website and you'll be sent the book to go with it and the, um, you can buy whatever fabric you want. So it's a lot of fun. I think you'll enjoy doing that. Okay, that's the fabric. Talked about the shop hop. Talked about this. Classes. Now, there's uh, some notions that came in. I want you guys to see some really cute little notion things. Um, mm -hmm. They're over here. Come on, we'll go look. Challa bags. Let's start with the challa bags. So, <laughs> little did we know we were going to become. A challa bag distributor. If you're not familiar with these bags, they are stinking cute. And the staff just went crazy buying them, and we love them too. Um, well, and the funny thing is, you get a new shipment, you have people getting a bag every shipment. We do. I've noticed. They are. Okay, the next, staff, next And then the staff. Then you got Virginia. Hi, Virginia. I know you're watching. Mm -hmm. And then Virginia is like ordering out of the catalog. Yep, exactly. And She's we do getting have the quite catalog. the collection. We do have the catalog. If you've seen these and you're like, oh, I want to look and see what they have. Typically, they have animal characters on them of some kind. I love this little owl wallet. Isn't that fun? With the little ears. They have uh, some kind of treatment so your credit cards in them do not get exposed. So somebody can't like scan your credit card without that. you... RFID. Yeah, whatever that is. Um, and th they're just going crazy. We cannot put these on the website, but if you saw one you liked, describe it thoroughly and send Deborah an email. She can get you hooked up with the bag. This is a new one, this little loon. Yeah, I love the loon. I'm all about the loon. It's so pretty. I love the colors on it. I was in the grocery the other day and had my little flamingo one, and this girl just about ripped it off my shoulder. Here's the sunflower. That one's been real popular. 
had one with a little bus on it. I think it's gone. It sold too quick. This one's really, it's really pretty. It's got kind of like a suede finish to it. It's very yeah. elegante. And there's hummingbirds. But these are perfect. They're just a great size, especially if you're shopping around or, or shop hopping or whatever. And then there's great big ones that convert into make them bigger. And they're just fun. Fun, fun, fun. So there's that. Wanted to talk about the Chala bag. And then there's a blade saver. Blade saver. It's this. This is, I'm curious. Blade saver thread cutter. So what you do, this comes, it comes like this flat. And there's no blade in it. It comes just like that. But if you have, like, when you have a rotary cutter blade and it's dull and you can't use it anymore, it's still got sharp enough edges to cut your thread. So you put it in here and you just set that on your counter and then when you need to cut a thread, foot, you just cut your thread. So it's it's repurposing those dull blades because they're not too dull to cut a thread, but they might be too dull to cut your fabric. So. I'm thinking that's a pretty cool thing. I'm loving it. That's cool. Isn't that cool? That's cool. These look like they're, oh, they're purple, they're green. It looks like the orange one is the only one on display. So there's purple and there's green. Isn't that fun? I'm liking those thread, thread savers. And there's an eensy teensy one. That's for 28, mi 28 millimeter blades. And I use a 28 millimeter. Oh, it's millimeter. a little baby. Yeah, I'm thinking that may have to come home with me too. You know, we just are shameless shoppers around here. We really are. Okay, guys. Oh, let's show them the horses. <laughs> the horses and the elephants and the... The elephantes. The elephantes. There's the elephante. You haven't seen him. Here's They're a so unicorn. Cute. Look at the unicorny. Isn't he cute? And look at the horsey. This has got Peter's name on it. Peter, horse if this is, disappears. That horse is happening. If, if it disappears, I'll know it's on your desk. Um, we've got the bright colors, the darker, you know, the tones for these other critters that are more real colors. But I'm doing my elephant in pink, just so you know. Um, but we are getting more colors, so be prepared for that. Fun class. Fun, fun class. Um... The door set button class. I don't even think we got to talk about this. In we did it. Two. No, we did it. It's already almost sold out. So these are door set buttons. If you've ever said seen a door set button class, um, what you do is you take kind of a, a circle and you wind thread around it. And those are made dorset buttons. And this was the way buttons were made for a long, 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 long time. This was the only way they even made buttons. And then... Uh, of course, then we got to where we manufacture buttons, but there's a place in, in England, Dorset, England, and that's where they started making buttons. You know, for anybody knitting a cardigan or a sweater, oh, yeah. that would be awesome to, to scale that down and put it on a sweater, a hand-knit yep. sweater. Yep, I would do that in a heartbeat. So, oh, and here's another one. Kathy's applique with Art to Heart. That one's another pillow class that came in. I'm loving this. Isn't that pretty? Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Yep. And then they me. got the perfect applique. Perfect applique and the machine quilting, the, both machine quilting classes are still going on. Um, fabric painting class. This one is passed, so we need to see if we've got a new date on that. Janet's sock, I think, has passed. Dawn's make and take. John's make and take. There's still some openings in this one. Now, that is going to be right at the end of this. So, by the time this airs, it may be pretty close to being full, Gone. full or sold out. Um, so, we'll check on this tag and make sure we're okay on that. But, yeah, lots to do. Lots to do. So many fun things in here. I, I phew can't get all the classes in that we want um, but there's always more coming yeah, so, if there's so we did draw a winner there was a grand prize winner for the shop hop yes um, congratulations Kelly Hensley. Kelly Hensley won the grand prize Who? I was talking yeah oh Who? that's it Kelly Hensley yay won she won the $50 to all $50 at each shop so she got a $300 worth of shopping time at all the shops
So I'm thinking, I get the $300, and then since I got the hot little passport in my hand, if I shop while well, the stores are doing the 20% off because I'm going to scan that little thing on my passport, your $300 just turned into like $600. That's right, yeah. Well, or 20% some math. more. Yeah, it's like yeah. crazy. At least 20% What's the math on that? that? Well, it'd be six, $360. Oh. Well, still, if 60 bucks. If she just bucks. spent $300, but yeah. she gets... She gets well, at a well, discount. She gets 20% off one item, so... I don't know. They'll yeah. figure it out. But that's going on. And then we had a winner, too, in our local shop who hasn't been in to pick it up yet. But we do have a winner here. And her name has gone out of my head. Um, Sherry. Sherry. Because it was S-H-A-R-I. It is, which is the way my sister-in-law spells it, which is a little different. Let's just, like her name's over here. Let's find out real quick. Okay. Because we don't want to miss. It's on the bottom of the basket. It is on the bottom of the basket. And she has to have photo ID to pick it up. Because we don't want anybody to Sherry Harrison. Sherry Harrison was the winner of the okay, shop hop. And look, see that Tilda Jubilee little set in there? So Man, that's worth the price of admission right that's there. That's not even out yet. I think that's one she's, she's going to get in advance. Spring, okay, summer so 2024. if it's not out yet, and we're getting the whole line, did uh, you just drop a little secret? Maybe. Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching our What's New video and for checking in with us. We love having you being part of our family. So have a great stitchy week. We'll see you next Thursday. Bye, y'all. At 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turned back again it's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really it?